Hey everyone, it's Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. Uh, this is Miss Spidey over here in the middle of the tank. I think you can see her and we have Jealous Cat. We have everybody today. Uh, today we're gonna talk about a article I found recently about how tarantula toxins are being super useful. Once again, I have so many videos about how useful tarantulas are um, in our society and for so many practical, amazing things that um, we're being challenged with right now. And I found something that was awesome about how it can be a very helpful in terms of insecticides and uh, the bee population, which is dwindling. So it turns out in this article that toxins produced by the orange banded tarantula in the Brazilian Amazon could have applications as active ingredients of pharmaceuticals and biological insecticides. Researchers have kind of uh, broken down tarantula venom and it turns out that like tarantula venom is incredibly complicated there's 92 different proteins in that 14 of those proteins are peptides called crps that actually have the effects on ion channels and bacteria. and of these crps three of them are known to be active ingredients of pharmaceuticals and biological insecticides, like I was saying. And some of these CRPs can paralyze insects for over 24 hours. So this is of particular interest, the article said, in Australia, um, so that it's kind of in high demand because they are seeking molecules that will protect crops without killing bees and other animals. So they're really trying to find a more sustainable way to protect crops, and food sources without actually harming our ecosystem, which is just awesome. That's a big problem <laughs> in our world. Uh, one researcher said in this paper or in this article that our biodiversity is an endless source of constant surprises and environmental conservation is vital. Couldn't agree more. The solutions to many problems could be hidden in species that have yet to be discovered or even in others that were described a long time ago like this spider. I think that this researcher is really talking about how tarantulas have been around for so long, even though we're always learning about new species and new things about them. I think because they're spiders or we just don't think that they're interesting enough or that they have any type of intelligence or usefulness in our lives. Um, and also because of the fear mongering that has happened. Um, not many studies are being done. That is obviously a shame because as more research is done, we are learning so much more about how tarantulas can help with diseases, medical uses, um, insecticides, all sorts of things. Um, and I think it's, it's really, really cool. Um, I love the idea of being able to make more natural insecticides that do not actually harm animals. <laughs> Um, I'm not really, the paper or the, re, the article doesn't really speak too in detail about how it works. My, my thought is that maybe it's more of a temporary insecticide um, that maybe need to be applied uh, in some way regularly, I'm not sure, but certainly the goal is to not have it harming the environment or the animals permanently, especially bees and like other animals who are you know, maybe in danger um, with populations dwindling. So that's what I think they're trying to say, but I'm not sure if anybody knows a little bit more about that, I'd love to hear. But one thing that did kind of just come to my mind is that I love that tarantulas are um, being explored more in our world. I just, I noticed that they're getting more attention because of their usefulness to humans. And I think that, you know, that is kind of how humans approach anything, right? Like, what does it do for us? And I would love to reach a point where animals are just respected because they are here. <laughs> you know, like a tarantula, yes, it has amazing things, benefits for humans and usefulness in our world, but um, they're also just really cool animals and like they deserve respect even if they could never do anything for us. So, um, yeah, but I do think it's still important to talk about their usefulness in our world because I think that, um, you know, if, if we can show people that there is a benefit and they are, are super interested and useful to humans, maybe we can start to like slowly break down uh, the fear or the hatred for these beautiful creatures. So anyway, let me know what you think about that. If you understand 
what they're saying a little bit more than I do. Um, maybe the particular article that I read about this was not explaining things very well, but if you've heard about that and you understand a little bit more about how it works than I do, please uh, leave a comment below so we can all benefit from that. Um, if I'm not really understanding how they're attempting to use it as an insecticide without causing harm, um, I'd love to learn. Anyway, guys, uh, I think the jealous cat is going down for a nap, possibly, and Spidey's been in this position for a long time. <laughs> so I'll see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Bye.